Dawson Rider here with a review of Terror Ranger from Kiryu Sentai G Ranger. That was really hard not to say Kiryu Ranger because all of the Jews and the Kiryus and all that all mixed up. Anyway, um, so also a lot of you probably know her as MMPR Pink Ranger, and like a lot of these, she got two releases: the Japanese one, which is an exclusive, and then the American one, which the only difference is it came in some MMPR packaging. Other than that, it's the same figure. Anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and just take a quick look at the box like we do at the beginning of these reviews. Uh, we got some pretty neat uh, packaging here like we did with Arm Tyranno Ranger. You got our own solid box. Um, it's pretty neat looking. You got a picture of her here. Um, then kind of like an echoed sort of dotted picture of her in the back. Her name here. Uh, some pictures of her on the side. Um, and then, you know, on the back, uh, just show some poses you can get her in. So, uh, pretty neat. Um, she comes with an okay amount of stuff, I suppose. Um, she's got four different sets of hands. Uh, you've got the default fists, which are on her when you get her. Um, and then, whoops. And then you just kind of got some general, uh, posed hands. And some holding weapon hands. And then the ones I have on her are... One of them is while well, holding the bow hand, and the other one actually is a specific hand for the bow um, that she's actually, um, or for the arrow rather, excuse me, um, that she's actually has the arrow attached to it. So that's actually really neat. Um, she does have her what is a ranger stick or the ranger gun in its stick mode, um, and then the combo um, with the thunder slinger. Uh, she does not have the individual gun or the individual in its little blade mode, um, which I'm not sure why. Um, I don't know why they did that. Um, and then obviously, um, she's got her bow and arrow here, um, which they're very nicely detailed. I mean, well, the, the bow is, um, the arrow, excuse me, I don't know why I keep mixing those two up, is, um, attached to her hand, um, but the bow isn't, and if I get it out. Well, I like how I said the, it isn't attached to her hand, and then, like, the hand wouldn't let it go. So I'm just going to show it like that, then, if it's going to be like that. Um, so this is a really basic weapon. There's not a lot to it. It's primarily white. You have, like, these little red pieces here and the little pink. Um, so there's not much to it, but it's still nicely done. As you can see here, here's the hand where the arrow is actually attached to it, which I think is a really nice way of doing it. Um, because, you know, you get so many of those figures. I have a couple... I think like a red arrow figure and stuff that uh, where they try to figure out how to do that type of thing and then you have to configure the bow and the arrow in the hand in like such a way or you have to have like one of those little rubber bands that comes with it and it's just really frustrating so it's actually really nice to have um, it attached like that and it makes it a lot easier for posing. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hand out temporarily and just... Um, just right side, no. Put one of the fists on one of her hands and show the articulation and stuff, and then just put those back on. Because um, the, the bow is actually one of those ones. You're just looking at nothing right now. Um, but the bow is actually one of those ones where it was kind of difficult to get it on the hand, so I'd rather just not take it off. So anyhow, uh, taking a look at the figure itself, um, it's very nicely done, just like the male Jew Rangers have been. Um, this is the first female mold we're getting, and the only female mold for the Jew Rangers. I believe we're getting a female mold for MMPR Yellow that'll be pretty much exclusive here. Um, but yeah, so the first female, 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 uh, female mold, and they did a really good job, just like with the other ones, like I said. Uh, the helmet is very nicely done, uh, pretty nicely proportioned. Um, as usual with these, they do a good job getting the nice shine to it. I think they did a good job there. Uh, the pink color it seems fairly accurate. Um, it looks a little lighter here on the package, if you can see. Um, then when you're holding the figure, you can just see me holding it there. But it looks nice, and there's not really any discrepancies between the joints that is uh, really that noticeable compared to some other figures. Um, she does have a bit noticeable bolts here, which is a little annoying. Um, but you can cover it up fairly easily, but um, it's not that terrible. Um, her dino buckler here is really nicely detailed. I don't know how well you can see it here, but you can actually sort of see uh, the pterodactyl there. Um, and then you've got her skirt piece here, which is, um, this seems really awkward, but it's kind of a softer plastic, and, you know, when you move out with her legs and stuff, you can actually get, um, some articulation. And what's really nice is that, uh, when you see when you move it out, like, the underneath piece here has got the white strip, so that it seems continuous, like, so it doesn't look like a strange break. But yeah, overall, very nicely done. Solid mold. Uh, looks very, uh, very good. Um, there's not really a whole lot you can screw up with these. I like how she's just missing a hand throughout this whole review. Um, because the, you know, the G-Ranger suit design is so basic that there's really not a lot to them. 
Um, articulation wise, pretty typical figure arts um, 360 articulation here on a ball joint. Got your swiveling, your double elbow joint. She got her hand joint here. She doesn't got one over here. You got it cut off. Uh, and then you got the waist articulation here and the chest articulation. A nice 360 ball joint on her head um, here, so you can get some strange, creepy movements here. Um, 360 ball joint here on her legs, uh, swiveling, double knee joint, um, the nice little ball joint here on her foot so you get a solid range of movement here, and her toe joint here. Um, like I said, the skirt actually moves fairly well. It is slightly more hindered than, you know, one that wouldn't have a skirt. Um, but still, I think they did a pretty good job on making it uh, fairly easily accessible um, for posing and whatnot. That sounds really weird. I'm like, her skirt was easily accessible. But yeah, they did a pretty good job on that. I know there were some sort of strange ones. I believe the Shinkenger figure arts uh, for girls, and I think the Gokaijers did this thing where they had swappable skirts. Um, which wasn't bad, it gave you some opportunities to, let me pan this down a little bit, um, to swap things out and do things a bit differently depending on what you wanted to do. Um, but I'm kind of glad they just keep it at the one piece and just try to make it as easy to work with as possible. Um, just because I hate having to pull the figure apart at the waist and switch it out whenever I want to change things. But see, overall, this is a very nice figure. They have done a really good job on the Jew Ranger figure arts. Um, I really, if you follow me in any form, you know I'm not really a huge MMPR fan or a Jew Ranger fan at all. Like, it's my least favorite thing. Um, but I really like the suits, and they do a really good job on the figures. Um, probably some of the best figure arts, or Sentai figure arts out there right now. Um, this, the Tyranno Ranger figures and uh, the Dragon Ranger figure are some of the better figures out there, and they continue to hear with Terra Ranger, I think. Um, the only real complaint I had was, um, you know, you can see the bolts sometimes there, which is really minor, and uh, the fact that she just didn't come with the gun in little uh, dagger mode. Um, for those, um, which I really wouldn't use, but it just seems strange not to include it, especially for like an exclusive. Um, but yeah, overall, really nice figure. If you're a fan of Kim or Kat or May, uh, definitely can recommend it. It's a really nice figure. Um, and I'm really looking forward to finishing out the rest of the G-Ranger team because they really are nice figures. They do a really good job on them, some really high quality molds. And uh, the shoulder joints are, are fairly well done on here. I can't believe I didn't mention that because if you watch any of my Sentai figure reviews, you know I'm super annoying about uh, like critiquing the shoulders. And I think they did a good job on her shoulders here. They're not overly large. Um, they track pretty well, even though they're sort of in this style. Um, that I'm not a fan of, like the Shinkenger one, where they're sort of a separate piece. Um, the kind of like the male Jew Rangers, it actually tracks it fairly well, so I don't really have uh, too many complaints about it. Anyway, uh, that's about it. Until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at writersrangersandrambles.com. Until next time, it's Dawson Ryder, signing out.